Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at NorwegianClass101.com. Hi everyone, this is Annette from NorwegianClass101.com. Today we're looking at 15 must-know family words. So let's get started. Familie. Family. Dette er min familie. Dette er min familie. This is my family. Far. Father. Faren min heter Geir. Faren min heter Geir. My father's name is Geir. My father's name is Trond, like the city Trondheim. Hello, Dad! <laughs> Mann. Husband. Mannen min og jeg har vært gift i fem år. Mannen min og jeg har vært gift i fem år. My husband and I have been married for five years. Man can also mean the same as in English, man. So sometimes you have to judge out of context whether it is husband or man uh, the person is referring to. Sen. Son. Jeg har to sønner. Jeg har to sønner. I have two sons. Bror. Brother. Broren min er tre år eldre enn meg. Broren min er tre år eldre enn meg. My brother is three years older than me. I actually do have a brother, but he's two years younger than me. To år yngre. Onkel. Uncle. Onkel min ligner veldig mye på pappa. Onkelen min ligner veldig mye på pappa. My uncle looks a lot like my dad. Hello, uncle. Hope you're watching this video. Bestefar. Grandfather. Bestefar er 86 år gammel. Bestefar er 86 år gammel. Grandfather is 86 years old. The word bestefar means best father. In Norwegian, you can actually distinguish between farfar, father's father, and morfar, mother's father. And the same goes for grandmother as well, so it's very easy to remember. But then again, you can also use uh, bestefar if you are uncertain uh, of which of uh, the side uh, the grandparent is from. Svigerfar, father-in-law. Min svigerfar er veldig hyggelig. Min svigerfar er veldig hyggelig. My father-in-law is very nice. And that is true. Mor, mother. Min mor jobber som sykepleier. Min mor jobber som sykepleier. My mother works as a nurse. Uh, actually, my mother is working as a teacher. Lærer. Hi, mom. Datter. Daughter. Datteren min går på ungdomsskolen. Datteren min går på Ungdomsskolen. My daughter goes to secondary school. Søster. Sister. Min søster bor nærme meg. Min søster bor nærme 
my. My sister lives close to me. I don't have any sisters, just a brother. Kone, wife. Min kone er flink til å lage mat. Min kone er flink til å lage mat. My wife is good at making food. No, no, I don't have a wife. Svigermor, mother-in-law. Svigermoren min er masete. Svigermoren min er masete. My mother-in-law is fussy. Bestemor, grandmother. Bestemoren min har gått bort. Bestemoren min har gått bort. My grandmother passed away. And again, bestemor means best mother. You can also say farmor for dad's mother or mormor for mother's mother. Partner, partner. Han er en veldig god partner. Han er en veldig god partner. He is a very good partner. That's it for now. We've just gone through 15 must-know family words. If you have any family words you want to know more about, please let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and go to NorwegianClass101.com for more. Thank you, and we ses next time. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Norwegian. Hi everybody, my name is Annette. Welcome to the 800 Core Norwegian Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Norwegian. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So, after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at NorwegianClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck and finally, master Norwegian. Okay, let's get started. First is... Banan. Banana. Banan. Banan. Banana. Babyer spiser ofte moste bananer. Babies often eat mashed bananas. Babyer spiser ofte moste bananer. Eple. Apple. Eple. Eple. Apple. Kan du dele dette eple i to? Can you divide this apple in half? Kan du dele dette eple i to? Drue. Grape. Drue. Drue. Grape. Musa spiser en drue. The mouse is eating a grape. 
Musa spiser en druve. Vannmelon. Watermelon. Vannmelon. Vannmelon. Watermelon. Flaggermusene hänger fra grenen och spiser vannmelon. The bats are hanging from a branch eating watermelon. Flaggermusene hänger fra grenen och spiser vannmelon. Ful bird ful ful bird en liten ful visket till mig a little bird told me en liten ful visket till mig Mus. Maus. Mus. Mus. Maus. Musa spiser en druve. The mouse is eating a grape. Musa spiser en druve. Sol. Sand. Sol. Sol. Sand. I dag skinner sola. Today the sun is shining. I dag skinner sola. Vær. Weather. Vær. Vær. Weather. Det var ett rart vär igår. The weather was weird yesterday. Det var ett rart vär igår. Grad. Degree. Grad. Grad. Degree. Det er knappt en grad ute. It is barely one degree outside. Det er knappt en grad ute. Kvinne. Woman. Kvinne. Kvinne. Woman. Kvinnen baker en kake. The woman bakes a cake. Kvinnen baker en kake. Man. 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 Han var en höflig man. He was a polite man. 
Han var en høflig mann. Kjæreste. Girlfriend. Kjæreste. Kjæreste. Girlfriend. Kjæresten min er her snart. My girlfriend will be here soon. Kjæresten min er her snart. Kjæreste. Boyfriend. Kjæreste. Kjæreste. Boyfriend. Jeg møtte kjæresten min på et fors. I met my boyfriend at a pre-party. Jeg møtte kjæresten min på et fors. Tog. Train. Tog. Tog. Train. Når går neste tog? What time is the next train? Når går neste tog? Fly. Airplane. Fly. Fly. Airplane. Passasjerene flyr med flyet. The passengers fly on the airplane. Passasjerene flyr med flyet. Buss. Bass. Buss. Buss. Bass. Bussen tok en time. The bus took an hour. Bussen tok en time. Drosje. Taxi. Drosje. Drosje. Taxi. Gi drosjesjøføren driks. Give the taxi driver a tip. Gi drosjesjøføren driks. Spinat. Spinach. Spinat. Spinat. Spinach. Han hatet spinat og nektet å spise det. He detested spinach and refused to eat it. Han hatet spinat og nektet å spise det. Delfin. Dolphin. Delfin. Delfin. Dolphin. Delfinen svømmer i havet. The dolphin is swimming in the ocean. Delfinen svømmer i havet. 
Blekksprut. Squid. Blekksprut. Blekksprut. Squid. Blekksprutene svømmer nær korallrevet. The squid are swimming near the coral reef. Blekksprutene svømmer nær korallrevet. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at NorwegianClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks and more learning resources. See you next time! Farewell! Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at NorwegianClass101.com. Hi everybody, Annette here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Norwegian questions. The question for this lesson is, what are the main differences between på and i? På and i are two very common Norwegian prepositions. Although they are often used to describe places, they have other purposes too. Let's go over them together. I can be used like in, in English, when we're talking about something or someone that's inside. På, on the other hand, can be translated as on, at, to, and also in. Let's do some examples together so you can learn how to use på and i correctly. Let's start with i. The sentence jeg er i parken means I'm in the park. Here, you're inside the location. So we need to use i. Another example would be boka ligger i sekken. This means the book is in the bag. In this sentence, the book is inside another object, so we use i here as well. Next, let's go over på for each translation on, at, to and in. The sentence boka er på bordet means the book is on the table. Simple, right? Another sentence jeg jobber på skolen means I'm working at the school. Here we are talking about the location of the school, so we need på, at. For two, a sentence would be hun skal på hytta. She's going to the cabin because she is moving towards that location. You don't think I forgot about in, do you? That's the tricky one. Since they both translate as in, it can be difficult to know when to use which. To summarize, you use i for where you would say in and på for where you would say on or at in English. Here's an example to show how på and i can change the meaning of a simple sentence. Jeg jobber i skolen. This means I'm working in the school system. Jeg jobber på skolen, on the other hand, means I'm working at school. Okay, that's it for this lesson. I hope that cleared things up for you. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Ha det! Vi ses snart! Bye! See you soon! Hello everybody and welcome back to Top Norwegian Words. Today we're looking at 10 Norwegian foods. Yummy! Let's get started. Brødskive. Open-faced sandwich. Slice of bread with various spreads, lunch meats and vegetables on it. Brødskive. Open-faced sandwich. Slice of bread with various spreads, lunch meat and vegetables on it. Om du er sulten nå, så kan du ta deg en brødskive. If you are hungry now, you can grab an open-faced sandwich. 
Brødskive is very popular in Norway. Some people have it for breakfast and for lunch. Maybe not for supper, but we do have something called kveldsmat, which we eat right before going to bed. And guess what? It's also brødskive as the main ingredients. Brunost. Brown cheese. Brunost. Brown cheese. Brunost är en typisk norsk ost. Brown cheese is a typical Norwegian cheese. Brown cheese is really popular in Norway and it's also a very good souvenir to bring to friends because it doesn't really taste like cheese. It tastes more like caramel in a sense. So it's actually very good to put on, for instance, waffles. It's delicious and you should try it. Carbonade. Meat patty, round flattened serving of meat. Carbonade. Meat patty, round flattened serving of meat. I dag ska vi ha carbonade till middag. Today we are having meat patties for dinner. Köttbolle. Meatball. Köttbolle. Meatball. Köttbollarna på IKEA är goda och billiga. The meatballs at IKEA are tasty and cheap. We also have something called köttkaka, which is a uh, slightly different shape. And if you analyze the words, it actually means meat cake, köttkaka. Uh, doesn't really sound that good, but it's just basically the same as köttbolle. Lutefisk, aged stockfish or dried salted whitefish and has a gelatinous texture. Lutefisk, aged stockfish or dried salted whitefish and has a gelatinous texture. I vår familie er det vanlig å spise lutefisk rundt juletider. In our family, it's common to eat lutefisk during Christmas time. I think most people either really like lutefisk or they hate it. I personally, I'm not a big fan of lutefisk, but I think you should try it and let us know what you think. Rømmegrøt. Porridge made from sour cream, whole milk, wheat flour, butter and salt. Rømmegrøt. Rømmegrøt. Porridge made from sour cream, whole milk, wheat flour, butter and salt. Jeg pleier å ha smør, kanel og sukker på min rømmegrøt. I usually have butter, cinnamon and sugar on my sour cream porridge. Rømmegrøt or grøt in general is something that Norwegians love. You can make your own porridge just by having wheat and milk as well. Smalehove. Sheep head dish originally eaten before Christmas. Smalahove. Sheep head dish originally eaten before Christmas. Smalahove blir ofte spist på Vestlandet. Smalahove is often eaten on the west coast. To be honest, smalahove is not a very common dish anymore. Uh, I personally never tried it. Uh, you could try to Google it, but I warn you, there might be some images that you don't want to see. Uh, actually, there's a couple of restaurants in Norway where you can eat smalahove. And if you eat uh, smalahove there, you get a diploma. That's how hardcore it is. Spekemat. Assortment of dried meats with flatbread. Spekemat. Assortment of dried meats and flatbread. Spekemat er et resultat av at folk måtte finne måter å konservere kjøtt på i gamle dager. Dried meat is the result of people having to find ways to conserve meat in the old days. Tørrfisk. Dried fish. Tørrfisk, dried fish. Tørrfisk fra Lofoten er veldig kjent. Dried fish from Lofoten is well known. In general, they have a lot of delicious fish up north. So if you like fish, this is the place to go. Maybe you're lucky you'll see the northern lights too. 
40 call mutton with bone and cabbage stew 40 call mutton with bone and cabbage stew 40 call är känt som en av de mest typiska norska rätterna 40 call is known as one of the most typical norwegian dishes 40 call is a very common norwegian dish if you're lucky maybe your norwegian friends can make you some 40 call Okay, everybody, that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. And please let us know below if you have tried any Norwegian foods and what you think of them in the comment section below. Also, go to NorwegianClass101.com for more information. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Det var allt för idag. Vi ses igen. Ha det bra. Goodbye. Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Norwegian listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? En man ser etter en bursdagsgave til kona si på en smykkebutikk. Vilket halskjede skal han kjøpe? Kan jeg hjelpe dig? Jeg ser etter en bursdagsgave til kona mi. Hva anbefaler du? Vel, hva med dette halskjede? Hmm, det ser litt langt ut. Hva med disse er borte? Vi har ett med et blomsteranheng og et annet med et hjerte. Jeg ser etter noe litt mer sofistikert. Hvor mye koster dette perlehalskjede her borte? Det koster 3000 kroner. Hmm, det er for dyrt. Ok, jeg tar det første. Absolut. Vær så god. Hvilket halskjede skal han kjøpe? En man ser etter en bursdagsgave til kona si på en smykkebutikk. Vilket halskjede skal han kjøpe? Kan jeg hjelpe dig? Jeg ser etter en bursdagsgave til kona mi. Hva anbefaler du? Vel, hva med dette halskjede? Hmm, det ser litt langt ut. Hva med disse er borte? Vi har ett med et blomsteranheng og et annet med et hjerte. Jeg ser etter noe litt mer sofistikert. Hvor mye koster dette perlehalskjede her borte? Det koster 3000 kroner. Hmm, det er for dyrt. Ok, jeg tar det første. Absolut. Vær så god. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Trying to learn Norwegian? You need a NorwegianClass101.com free lifetime account. It's one of the most powerful language learning tools you can command, and signing up takes less than seven seconds. So what exactly do you get that makes it so special? First, New lessons are published every week, and you get them for free. Enjoy learning with fun and effective audio and video lessons with real teachers. Make the most of your study time as our teachers help you hack Norwegian and get you speaking in minutes. Second, free instant access to the first three lessons of every lesson series. Explore and try any lesson series that interests you, from beginner to advanced. Find teachers you love and lessons for your goals. Third, learn Norwegian anywhere, anytime with the free companion app. Download it now for free for the iPhone, iPad, or any Android device, and have instant access to your free lifetime account and lessons anywhere, anytime. Fourth, boost your vocabulary with the free word of the day. Every day, receive one new word in your inbox 
that you can master in seconds. Want even more words? 5. Get complete access to our word and phrase lists. Wow native Norwegian speakers with cool topical and seasonal words and phrases from our lists. And finally, number six, the best for last. Seven days of unlimited access to our entire library of audio and video lessons. Premium study tools like line-by-line -line audio, word bank, and smart flashcards to help you learn lightning fast. Get your free lifetime account right now at NorwegianClass101.com. Sign up in less than seven seconds. And the account is yours for free for life. So what are you waiting for? Get yours now. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Norwegian. Hi everybody, my name is Annette. Welcome to the 800 Core Norwegian Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Norwegian. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at NorwegianClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Norwegian. Okay, let's get started. First is... Hun. Dog. Hun. Hun. Dog. Er det din hund? Is that your dog? Er det din hund? Katt. 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 Cat. Cat. Katten gick dit hen. The cat went over there. Katten gick dit hen. Hamster. 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 Hamstere liker å sove om dagen. Hamsters like to sleep during the day. Hamstere liker å sove om dagen. Varm. Warm. Varm. Varm. Warm. Jeg liker dette pleddet fordi det er varmt. I like this blanket because it's warm. Jeg liker dette pleddet fordi det er varmt. Regn. Rain. Regn. 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 Nå er det nok regn. It's enough rain now. Nå er det nok regn. Tomat. Tomato. Tomat. 
tomat, tomato, makrell i tomat, makrell in tomato sauce, makrell i tomat, jordbär, strawberry. Jordbær. Jordbær. Strawberry. Jeg har laget ti glass med jordbærsyltetøy. I have made ten jars of strawberry jam. Jeg har laget Ti glass med jordbær sylte tøy. Kirsebær. Cherry. Kirsebær. Kirsebær. Cherry. Kirsebær saus smaker godt sammen med iskrem. Cherry sauce tastes delicious together with ice cream. Kirsebær saus smaker godt sammen med iskrem. Barn child barn barn child jag har ett barn i have one child jag har ett barn then friend then then friend du är en fantastisk vän you are an awesome friend du är en fantastisk vän Voksen. Adult. Voksen. Voksen. Adult. Av og til er det bare ikke så moro å være voksen. Sometimes being an adult just isn't very fun. Av og til er det bare ikke så moro å være voksen. Sykkel. Bicycle. Sykkel. Sykkel. Bicycle. Dette var en kjekk sykkel. This was a nice bicycle. Dette var en kjekk sykkel. Bil. Car. Bil. Bil. Car. Och sätta sig in i en bil. Get in a car. Och sätta sig in i en bil. Motorcykel. Motorcycle. Motorcykel. 
motorcykel motorcycle Jag kan inte köra motorcykel I can't drive a motorcycle Jag kan inte köra motorcykel Scooter. 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 No one stole scooter in min. Somebody stole my scooter. No one stole scooter. Scooteren min. Båt. 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 Båten sank ned på havets dyp. The boat sank down to the ocean's depths. Båten sank ned på havets dyp. Manet. Jellyfish. Manet. Manet. Jellyfish. Manetene dupper i vannet. The jellyfish are bobbing in the water. Manetene dupper i vannet. Hummer. Lobster. Hummer. Hummer. Lobster. Hummer er veldig dyrt. Lobsters are very expensive. Hummer er veldig dyrt. Krabbe. Crab. Krabbe. Krabbe. Crab. De to krabbene krabber på en sten. The two crabs are walking on a rock. De to krabbene krabber på en sten. Skilpadde. Turtle. Skilpadde. Skilpadde. Turtle. Havskilpadden svømmer i havet. The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. Havskilpadden svømmer i havet. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at NorwegianClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Farewell! Hei alle sammen! Jeg er Nora. I Norge feirer vi jul på julaften den 24. desember. 
Før feiret vi jul på den katolske maten, og første juldag var den viktigste dagen. Etter hvert har tradisjoner som juletre og gaver kommet til Norge, og nå synes de fleste at det er hyggeligst å feire jul på julaften. I denne timen vil du lære om hvordan nordmenn feirer jul. Vet du hva nordmenn putter opp i julegrøten? Vi vil vise deg svaret på slutten av denne videoen. Julesendingen på TV er en viktig del av julemorgen i mange norske hjem. Mange nordmenn føler at ikke julesendingen er komplett før de har sett det tjekkisk-tyske eventyret Tre nøtter til Askepott, Disneys julekavalkade og den norske eventyrfilmen Reisen til julestjerne. Tidlig om kvelden samles hele familien for å spise julemiddagen sammen. Noen familier spiser kjøtt, andre spiser fisk som hovedrett. Ribbe og lutefisk er to store juleklassikere. Også har vi poteter og surkål som tilbehør. På bordet står det små drømmeglass. De er fylt med akevitt. En norsk sprit laget av poteter. Nordmenn liker poteter. Akevitt sies å hjelpe fordøyelsen av all den fete julematen. Om kvelden samler vi oss i stuen for å synge julesanger, mens vi går i ring rundt juletreet. Også pakker vi opp gavene som ligger under juletreet. Ofte er det minstemann i familien som må lese opp navnet som står på pakkene og dele dem ut. I hjem med unge barn kommer julisten på besøk om kvelden med en sekk full av gaver. Han stiller alltid det samme spørsmålet. Har du vært snill i år? Og hvis barna svarer ja, så får de gaver. Og nå skal jeg gi deg svaret på den tidligere spørrekonkurransen. Vet du hva nordmenn putter opp i julegrøten? Vi putter en mandel i grøten. Den som får mandelen i sin grøtbolle vinner en premie som er en marsipangris. Mange nordmenn vil gjerne få mandelen og ender opp med å spise for mye grøt. Det er ikke så rart siden denne grøten er laget av ris, melk og vispet krem. Hva synes du om dette kurset? Var det spennende? Hvordan feirer du jul? Legg igjen en kommentar på NorwegianClass101.com På gjensyn! In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Norwegian. Hi everybody, my name is Annette. Welcome to the 800 Core Norwegian Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Norwegian. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at NorwegianClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Norwegian. Okay, let's get started. First is... Skjorte. Shirt. Skjorte. Skjorte. Skjørt. Denne skjorten er for liten. This shirt is too small. Denne skjorten er for liten. Okse. Pants. Okse. Bukse, pants. Trekk buksene dine opp. Pull your pants up. Trekk buksene dine opp. 
kjole. Dress. Kjole. Kjole. Dress. Jeg angrer ikke på at jeg kjøpte den kjolen. I do not regret buying that dress. Jeg angrer ikke på at jeg kjøpte den kjolen. Si. Se. Si. Si. Se. Bare gjør som jeg sier. Just do what I say. Bare gjør som jeg sier. Å ringe. Call. Å ringe. Å ringe. Call. Å ringe feil nummer. Call a wrong number. Å ringe feil nummer. Finne. Find. Finne. Finne. Find. Jeg finner ikke brillene mine. I can't find my glasses. Jeg finner ikke brillene mine. Ren. Clean. Ren. Ren. Clean. Dette landet er veldig rent. This country is very clean. Dette landet er veldig rent. Skitten. Dirty. Skitten. Skitten. Dirty. Bilen er veldig skitten. The car is very dirty. Bilen er veldig skitten. Gullerot. Carrot. Gullerot. Gullerot. Carrot. Gulleretter er bra for synet ditt. Carrots are good for your sight. Gulleretter er bra for synet ditt. Løk. Onion. Løk. Løk. Onion. Jeg får tårer i øynene hver gang jeg kutter løk. I get tears in my eyes every time I cut onions. Jeg får tårer i øynene hver gang jeg kutter løk. Salat. Lettuce. Salat. Salat. Lettuce. 
salaten min innehåller kun salat och tomat. My salad only has lettuce and tomato. Salaten min innehåller kun salat och tomat. Sau. Sheep. Sau. Sau. Sheep. Sauen spiser det gröna gräset. The sheep is eating green grass. Sauen spiser det gröna gräset. Kanin. Rabbit. Kanin. Kanin. Rabbit. Kaninen din är väldigt söt. Your pet rabbit is very cute. Kaninen din är väldigt söt. Sel. Seal. Sel. Sel. Seal. Seler lever i de kallaste områdena. Seals live in the coldest areas. Seler lever i de kallaste områdena. Ski. Cloud. Ski. Ski. Cloud. Været i dag er solrikt med noe skidekke. Today's weather is sunny with occasional clouds. Været i dag er solrikt med noe skidekke. Solrik. Sunny. Solrik. Solrik. Sunny. Jeg drar ofte på picknick på en solrik dag. I often go on a picnic on a sunny day. Jeg drar ofte på picknick på en solrik dag. Regnette. Rainy. Regnette. Regnette. Rainy. Det var en regnete dag. It was a rainy day. Det var en regnete dag. Baby. 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 Babyen sover på teppe. The baby sleeps on the blanket. Babyen sover på teppe. Jente. Girl. Jente. Jente. Girl. Den stolen er for stor for en liten jente. That chair is too big for a little girl. 
Den stolen er for stor for en liten jente. Gutt. Boy. Gutt. Gutt. Boy. Gutten likte filmen. The boy liked the movie. Gutten likte filmen. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at NorwegianClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks and more learning resources. See you next time! Farewell! In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Norwegian. Hi everybody, my name is Annette. Welcome to the 800 core Norwegian words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Norwegian. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at NorwegianClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Norwegian. Okay, let's get started. First is... Gla. Happy. Gla. Gla. Happy. Jeg er så glad. I'm so happy. Jeg er så glad. Trist. Sad. Trist. Trist. Sad. Den triste tenåringen sitter alene. The sad teenager is sitting alone. Den triste tenåringen sitter alene. Sint. Angry. Sint. Sint. Angry. Hvorfor er du så sint? Why are you so angry? Hvorfor er du så sint? Klær. Clothing. Klær. Klær. Clothing. Lag med klær. Layers of clothing. Lag med klær. Sko. Sju. Sko. De er kvinnesko. Those are women's shoes. De er kvinnesko. Sokk. Sokk. 
Sock. 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 Jeg bruker ikke sokker. I don't wear socks. Jeg bruker ikke sokker. Undertøy. Underwear. Undertøy. Undertøy. Underwear. Skoene mine og undertøyet mitt ligger i den øverste skuffen i kommoden. My socks and underwear are in the top drawer of my dresser. Sokkene mine og undertøyet mitt ligger i den øverste skuffen i kommoden. Snakke. Tak. Snakke. Snakke. Tak. Hun måtte snakke med ham raskt. She needed to talk with him urgently. Hun måtte snakke med ham raskt. Gi. Give. Gi. Gi. Give. De kommer til å gi meg en kupong. They'll give me a coupon. De kommer til å gi meg en kupong. Lav. Low. Lav. Lav. Low. Printeren har et lavt støynivå. The printer has a low noise level. Printeren har et lavt støynivå. Høy. Hei. Høy. Høy. Hei. MBA-en er høy i Norge i forhold til andre land. The VAT in Norway is high compared to other countries. MVA-en er høy i Norge i forhold til andre land. Frukt. 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 De har mange typer frukt på markedet. They have many kinds of fruit in the market. De har mange typer frukt på markedet. Blekksprut. Octopus. Blekksprut. Blekksprut. Octopus. Blekksprutten svømmer i havet. The octopus is swimming in the ocean. 
Blekkspruten svømmer i havet. Hai. Shark. Hai. Hai. Shark. I år starter haiuken tidligere. This year Shark Week starts earlier. I år starter haiuken tidligere. Val. Whale. Val. Val. Whale. Valene kommer opp for å puste. The whales are coming up for air. Valene kommer opp for å puste. Overskyet. Cloudy. Overskyet. Overskyet. Cloudy. Det begynner å bli overskyet ute. It's starting to get cloudy outside. Det begynner å bli overskyet ute. Kjølig. Cool. Kjølig. Kjølig. Cool. Været er kjølig. The weather is cool. Været er kjølig. Agurk. Cucumber. Agurk. Agurk. Cucumber. Du kan bruke ostehevel for å kutte agurkskider. You can use a cheese slicer to cut cucumber slices. Du kan bruke ostehevel for å kutte agurkskider. Paprika. Bell pepper. Paprika. Paprika. Bell pepper. De vanligste paprikane er grønn, rød eller gul. The most common bell peppers are green, red, or yellow. De vanligste paprikane er grønn, rød eller gul. Broccoli. 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 Det sies at broccoli forhindrer kreft. Broccoli is said to prevent cancer. Det sies at broccoli forhindrer kreft. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. 
Click the link in the description and sign up for free at NorwegianClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Farewell! Hi everybody! I'm Annette from NorwegianClass101.com. Do you know how to say I love you in Norwegian? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say I love you and a special phrase for Valentine's Day. Let's start with the most common phrase. Jeg elsker deg. Jeg elsker deg. I love you. This phrase is direct. You should only use it when you're confessing your love. If you want to be less direct, you can use this phrase. Du betyr så mye for meg. Du betyr så mye for meg. It means you mean so much to me. Now, if you want to be more romantic in expressing your love for someone, you can say this phrase. Ord kan ikke beskrive min kjærlighet til deg. Ord kan ikke beskrive min kjærlighet til deg. It means words cannot describe my love for you. Now you know three different ways to say I love you in Norwegian. And here's one more. What if you want to spend Valentine's Day with someone special? In that case, you can say Vil du være min valentine? Vil du være min valentine? It means would you be my valentine? Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. Listen to the expression and repeat after me. I love you. Jeg elsker deg. Jeg elsker deg. You mean so much to me. Du betyr så mye for meg. Du betyr så mye for meg. Words cannot describe my love for you. Ord kan ikke beskrive min kjærlighet til deg. Ord kan ikke beskrive min kjærlighet til deg. Will you be my valentine? Vil du være min valentine? Vil du være min valentine? Well done! Here's the fun facts. Do you know how single people celebrate Valentine's Day in Norway? Single people often gather with other single friends, going out together in groups on Valentine's Day. Several bars and clubs usually hold events for singles only, and it's become a popular tradition for people who aren't in a relationship to attend such events, looking for love. You just learned three different ways to say I love you in Norwegian, and one special phrase for Valentine's Day. Also, don't forget to download your free cheat sheet on how to be a good lover in Norway, including words for romance, compliments, and pickup lines. Check out the description below and go to NorwegianClass101.com now. I'll see you next time. Tack och ses nästa gång. Flower power. I thought I had to uh, like uh, improvise some uh, special pickup line. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm strangling myself. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Top Norwegian Words. Today we're going to look at the 10 hardest words to pronounce in Norwegian. Let's start. Brød. Bread. Brød. Bread. Kneipere er er veldig vanlig i Norge. Knipe bread is very common in Norway. Actually, if you mistake the pronunciation of brød and say blø, it means bleed, so be careful. Engelsk. English. Engelsk. English. Alle bør lære seg engelsk for å kommunisere med andre. Everybody should learn English to communicate with others. Svensk, dansk, tysk, finsk. You can see that all the Norwegian language words actually ends in sk. Hårføner. Hair dryer. Hårføner. Hair dryer. Jeg bruker aldri hårføner til å tørke håret mitt. I never use a hair dryer to dry my hair. Actually, I'm kind of lazy myself, so often I don't use a hair dryer. I just uh, let it dry naturally. Um, yeah. Schule. Dress. Schule. Dress. Denne skolen er veldig fin. This dress is really nice. One thing you have to be careful about in Norwegian is that uh, the word dress, if you say dress, it actually means suit. So don't mix them up. Kjøtt. Meat. Kjøtt. Meat. Jeg spiser ikke kjøtt. I don't eat meat. Well, you know, everybody say that it's good for the environment uh, not to eat meat. Um, and I wish I had enough willpower to become a vegetarian, but not yet. Maybe in the future. Who knows? Nishari. Curious. Nishari. Curious. Hun er veldig nishari på hva katten gjør. The dog is very curious about what the cat is doing. I used to have a dog, and my dog didn't care about cats at all. I think cats and dogs are usually not really good friends, uh, but sometimes uh, they just ignore each other, I guess. Öl. Beer. Öl. Beer. En kall öl er veldig passende i sommerværet. A cold beer suits the summer weather well. So I think some of you might have problems pronouncing ø. Uh, it kind of sounds like somebody hits you in the stomach. You go like uh. Yeah, if you get hit in the stomach, maybe you would want to have a cold beer afterwards to cool off. Recently, you know, it's getting so popular with microbreweries. I think they have a lot of good beer, uh, like the, all the locally produced beers especially. I like to try different types of beer when I go for uh, trips and so on. Smør. Butter. Smør. Butter. Kan du smøre smør på brødskiven? Can you put butter on the slice of bread? In Norway, uh, we usually have a lot of bread, brød, for breakfast, and then we usually would have smør as one of the common things to put on the bread, along with other, um, what we call pålegg, which is uh, literally put on. So it's anything you put on the bread is called pålegg. Rådyr. 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 Roe deer. Det er vanlig å se rådyr om vinteren. It is common to see roe deer in the winter. Det var en gang en rådyr som ble skutt, og så ble den rådyr. So the word rådyr can have two meanings in Norwegian. The first one, as you just heard, is roe deer, and the other meaning is crazily expensive. Uh, so the example sentence I just gave you means um, there was a roe deer 
that got uh, shot and got crazily expensive. Bro, bridge. Bro, bridge. Den broen var veldig flott. That bridge was very nice. So, as you probably understood, this is about bro, bridge, not as in bro, yo bro. Okay, everybody, that's all for now. Which word did you find the most difficult? Please uh, let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and go to NorwegianClass101.com for more details. Thank you, bye bye, ha det bra! In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Norwegian. Hi everybody, my name is Annette. Welcome to the 800 core Norwegian words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Norwegian. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at NorwegianClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Norwegian! Okay, let's get started! First is hon, hand, hon, hon, hand, venstre hon, left hand. Venstre hånd. Arm. 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 Muskuløs arm. Muscular arm. Muskuløs arm. Fot. 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 En fot har fem tær. A foot has five toes. En fot har fem tær. Ben. Legg. Ben. Ben. Legg. Lange ben. Long legs. Lange ben. Finger. 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 Fingeren er trykket mot glasset. The finger is pressed against the glass. Fingeren er trykket mot glasset. Rygg. Back. Rygg. Rygg, back, 
Ryggen till pinsvinne är er täckt med spisse tagger. A hedgehog's back is covered in sharp spines. Ryggen till pinsvinne är er täckt med spisse tagger. Mage. Stomach. Mage. Mage. Stomach. Jag har mageknip. I have a stomach ache. Jag har Mageknip. Brystkasse. Chest. Brystkasse. Brystkasse. Chest. Renken av en brystkasse. X-ray of a chest. Renken av en bristkasse januar january januar januar january tisdag 1 januar Tuesday, January 1st. Tisdag, 1. januar. Februar. February. Februar. Februar. February. Februar är er den kortaste månaden med 28 dagar. February is the shortest month with 28 days. Februar är er den kortaste månaden med 28 dagar. Mars. March. Mars. 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 Nu är er det april så förra månad var mars. It is now April so last month was March. Nu är er det april så förra månad var mars. April. 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 Regn i april ge blomster i maj. April showers bring May flowers. Regn i april ger blomster i maj. 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 31 maj är er världens rökfria dag. May 31st is World No Smoking Day. 31 maj är er världens rökfria dag. Juni. June. Juni. Juni. June. 
Vi skal gifte oss i juni. We are getting married in June. Vi skal gifte oss i juni. Juli. July. Juli. Juli. July. Juli måne. Months of July. Juli måne. August. 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 Skolen er stengt i august. The school is closed in august. Skolen er stengt i august. September. 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 I dag er det lørdag 10. september. Today is Saturday, September 10th. I dag er det lørdag 10. september. Oktober. October. Oktober. 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 Julebrus blir bare solgt fra oktober til slutten av desember. Christmas soda is only sold from October to the end of December. Julebrus blir bare solgt fra oktober til slutten av desember. November. 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 Thanksgiving, torsdag 24. november. Thanksgiving, Thursday, november 24th. Thanksgiving, torsdag 24. november. December. 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 25. December. December 25th. 25. December. Remember. The goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Norwegian. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks and more learning resources at NorwegianClass101.com. See you next time! Bye bye! Hello and welcome back to Top Norwegian Words. Today we're gonna look at 15 favorite words chosen by fans. Let's get started! Then, friend. Then, friend. Du er en god venn. You are a good friend. What do you think makes a good friend?
best friend, bästa vän. Kaffe, coffee. Kaffe, coffee. Kan jag få en vanlig svart kaffe, tack? Can I have a normal black coffee, please? Norwegians love coffee, so if you go to Norway, you'll probably end up drinking drinking a lot of coffee. Yeah, any coffee. Tack. Thanks. Tack. Thanks. You can also say tusen tack, which literally means thousand thanks. So many thanks. Svimmel. Dissi. Svimmel. Dissi. Det är obehagligt att vara svimmel. It is uncomfortable being dizzy. Ah, the heat is making me so dizzy. Vacker, beautiful. Vacker, beautiful. Du är vacker. You are beautiful. Or you can say du är pen. But if you say du är pen, make sure to make the e long, or else it'll sound like uh, you are a pen. Pen, pen. Pen is beautiful. Pen is pen. Gla, happy. Gla, happy. Han ser väldigt glad ut idag. He looks really happy today. Sun, healthy. Sun, healthy. Det är viktigt att vara sun. It's important to be healthy. A lot of uh, Norwegians uh, care a lot about eating healthy, you know, exercising regularly. If you go to Norway, then you'll see a lot of people out in the nature just working out. Feria, vacation. Feria, vacation. Jag vill ha feria nu. I want a vacation now. Yeah, these days all my friends back in Norway are having summer holidays, so I need to... I don't know, I need a holiday. I'm tired of watching people's vacation pictures on Facebook. Seven, sleep. Seven, sleep. Jeg får for lite søvn for tiden. I am getting too little sleep these days. Kult. Awesome. Kult. Awesome. Uh, this word comes from the English word cool, but not as in cool temperature. Penger. Money. Penger. Money. Jeg har begynt å spare penger. I have started saving money. Tro. To believe. Tro. To believe. Tror du på det? Do you believe that? Respektere. To respect. Respektere. To respect. Jeg respekterer læreren min. I respect my teacher. My teacher is awesome. How about your teacher? I am the teacher, right? <laughs> Elske. Love. Elske. Love. Jeg elsker deg. I love you. Just notice that uh, in Norwegian, elske is a lot stronger word. Uh, you wouldn't want to say this to a friend or somebody you haven't been maybe dating for a year or so. Um, you can say, jeg er glad i deg. Uh, this is more common as like um, used among friends. Norge. Norway. Norge. Norway. Norge är ett flott land. Norway is a great country. Great if you like the great outdoors. Um, we have a lot of pretty nature. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you all for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and go to NorwegianClass101.com for more resources. Also, we would like to know your favorite verb, so please uh, leave it in the comment section below. See you again next time, bye bye!
How are your Norwegian listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? En man och en kvinna ser på en meny på en restaurang. Vad ska man beställa? Vad ska du beställa? Pizzan ser deilig ut. Jag tror jag tar den. Jag hade pizza igår så. Ok då. Vad med hamburgern? Hörs bra ut. Jag tar den. Vad ska man beställa? En man och en kvinna ser på en meny på en restaurang. Vad ska man beställa? Vad ska du beställa? Pizzan ser deilig ut. Jag tror jag tar den. Jag hade pizza igår så. Ok då. Vad med hamburgern? Hörs bra ut. Jag tar den. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hi, yeah, it's Nora. Hi everybody. I'm Nora. Welcome to NorwegianClass101.com's Norsk på tre minutter. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Norwegian. In the last lesson, we learned how to count in Norwegian. I hope you spent some time practicing the numbers, because they will come in handy for this lesson. We're going to learn how to go shopping in Norway. Before we go, you need to know how to say, how much is it? Hvor mye koster den? Hvor mye koster den? Okay, are you ready to go shopping in Norway? Let's go. You see something you like and you want to ask the shopkeeper how much it costs. The first thing to say is, Unnskyld. Do you remember what that means? Excuse me. Unnskyld. Hvor mye koster den? Unnskyld. Hvor mye koster den? Now, in Norwegian, all nouns have gender. The sentence above is referring to a masculine or feminine gender object. If the object is a gender neutral word, the sentence will sound like this. Unnskyld, hvor mye koster det? Unnskyld, hvor mye koster det? The only thing that changes is the pronoun. Den becomes det. There is one more pronoun you can use when pointing at pairs of something or a bundle of something. You change the pronoun to de. Unnskyld, hvor mye koster de? Unnskyld, hvor mye koster de? At this point, the shop clerk can answer by saying Den koster, det koster, or de koster. For example, Den koster 55 kroner. Det koster 55 kroner, or de koster 55 kroner. What number is 55? It's 55. It costs 55 kroner. Now it's time for Nora's insights. The pronoun you will use most often is de, because not only is it used to ask prices of neutral gender objects, but also services like a haircut. So get used to asking, Hvor mye koster det? Hvor mye koster det? At this point, can you count kroner in Norwegian? We are going to learn how to do this and much more in the next lesson. I'll be waiting for you in our next Norsk på tre minutter lesson. Ses neste gang! Hi everybody, Annette here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Norwegian questions. The question for this lesson is, who are the Sami people and what language do they speak? The Sami people are the indigenous people of Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia. Sápmi is the name of the area where they live 
and this encompasses northern Norway, Sweden, Finland and the Kola Peninsula of Russia. Today they are protected. However, it hasn't always been that way. In the past, they suffered under many restrictions by different governments. There were several different groups of Sami. One was the Skolt Sami who lived off of reindeer herding, fishing and hunting. There was the Mountain Sami who moved together with her reindeer out from the mountains and to the fjords in the spring. The Sea Sami didn't have big reindeer packs, but they lived by combining fishing, hunting and agriculture. And the Forest Sami worked in the woods and did not move out of the mountains like the Mountain Sami when the spring came. The Norwegianization of the Sami was a policy made to assimilate the Sami into Norwegian culture. This started at the end of the 1800s and continued to 1965. In 1888, you had to be Norwegian or Swedish to buy land in Norway, and in 1902, you had to be Norwegian to buy land in Finnmark, a region where most of the Sami lived. To get Norwegian citizenship, you had to speak and write Norwegian, and this caused many Sami to change their family name to something more Norwegian. Several laws also banned the Sami language, and people were not allowed to use it, so a lot of the Sami language got lost. The Sami language is a branch of the Uralic language family. The Sami languages are divided into Western Sami and Eastern Sami, with subgroups and different dialects. Some can be intelligible, but others not so much, due to geographical barriers. The most common is Northern Sami, which has around 20,000 speakers in a subgroup of Western Sami. Lule Sami and Southern Sami is also used. Now the Sami and Norwegian languages have equal standing in Norway and several schools offer Sami and some universities in Northern Norway offer Sami too. The Sami was recognized as an indigenous people in 1990 and Sami in Norway has special protection and rights. They also have their own constitution day on the 6th of February and their own parliament. And that's it. Do you have any more questions? Please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Hade, vi ses snart. Bye, see you soon. Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Norwegian listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Er kvinne spør en ekspeditør noe på en bokhandel? Hvilken bok har kvinnen lyst til å se? Unnskyld, jeg vil gjerne se på en bok på denne hylla. Hvilken bok vil du ha? Den om biler. Et øyeblikk. Denne? Ja, det er den. Vær så god. Hvilken bok har kvinnen lyst til å se? Er kvinne spør en ekspeditør noe på en bokhandel? Hvilken bok har kvinnen lyst til å se? Unnskyld, jeg vil gjerne se på en bok på denne hylla. Hvilken bok vil du ha? Den om biler. Et øyeblikk. Denne? Ja, det er den. Vær så god. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hi everyone. Do you know how to say I love you in Norwegian? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. 
Let's start with how to express your feelings to your loved one. Jeg elsker dig. Jeg elsker dig. Jeg elsker dig. Or if you want to explain those butterflies in your stomach, you can say Jeg er forelsket i dig. Jeg er forelsket i dig. Jeg er forelsket i dig. And when you feel that I love you is not enough, you can say Ord kan ikke beskrive min kjærlighet til dig. Ord kan ikke beskrive min kjærlighet til dig. Ord kan ikke beskrive min kjærlighet til dig. You just learned three different ways to say I love you in Norwegian. And if you're interested in learning more, don't forget to download your free romance and love cheat sheet which includes romantic words, compliments, and pickup lines. Check out the description below and go to norwegianclass101.com now. See you next time. Hi everybody, I'm Annette from norwegianclass101.com. Do you know how we say thank you in Norwegian? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say thank you and how to respond. Let's start with the easiest one. Tak. Tak. It means thank you. If you want to show your sincere appreciation for something, you can say this phrase. Tusen tak. Tusen tak. The word tusen means thousand. So this expression means Thank you very much. It expresses a deeper appreciation for a personal kindness. When you want to show your appreciation in a more formal way, you can use this expression. Tusen takk, så hyggelig av deg. Tusen takk, så hyggelig av deg. It means, thank you so much, how nice of you. Using this longer and more formal phrase, you can express a lot of gratitude. Now you know three different ways to say thank you in Norwegian, but how do you respond if someone thanks you? If someone thanks you in Norwegian, simply say velbekomme. It means you're welcome. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. Listen to the expression and repeat after me. Thank you. Tak. Tak. Thank you very much. Tusen tak. Tusen tak. The formal way to say thank you. Tusen tak. Så hyggelig av deg. Tusen takk, så hyggelig av deg. And to respond, just say velbekomme. Velbekomme. Well done! If you're not sure which one to say, just say takk. It can be used with just about anyone, anywhere and at any time. You just learned three different ways to say thank you and how to respond in Norwegian. And if you really want to become fluent and speak Norwegian from the very first lesson, go to NorwegianClass101.com. I'll see you next time. Tack och ses nästa gång. Hi everybody, Annette here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Norwegian questions. The question for this lesson is, what are bokmål and nynorsk? Many of you have probably heard of bokmål and nynorsk, literally meaning book, language and new Norwegian respectively. But did you know that you can't actually speak bokmål or nynorsk? 
So what exactly are they? They're the two official written standards in Norway. Danish was the written language in Norway from the 1600s to the 1900s because of a union with Denmark. Because of this, bokmål is highly influenced by Danish and is used by around 85% of Norway's population, regardless of which dialect is spoken. Nynorsk is only used by around 10 to 15% of the population, but there are a lot of dialects that may seem closer to Nynorsk than bokmål. Nynorsk was created by Ivar Åsen, a Norwegian philologist, lexicographer, playwright, and poet, in the 1800s as an alternative to the Danish language. He traveled around Norway studying dialects and based Nynorsk on the similarities between the dialects. Norwegians learn both bokmål and Nynorsk in school, but unfortunately many Norwegians don't seem to want to study Nynorsk which is a shame, as it's quite rare to have two official written languages in one country. However, the Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation, NRK, supports both written languages. Newspapers have articles in Nynorsk too. Having two official written languages can sometimes cause confusion for both Norwegians themselves and foreigners. For example, Stamps in Norway are issued with Norway spelled as either Norge, which is bokmål, or Noreg, which is nynorsk. Some stamp collectors actually think that this is a misprint. And that's it! Do you have any more questions? Please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Ha det! Vi ses snart! Bye! See you soon! I'm Nora. Welcome to NorwegianClass101.com's Norsk for Tremen. Fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Norwegian. In the last lesson, we learned the numbers from 1 to 10. Have you forgotten? Here, I'll tell you again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and now let's continue from 11. 11. 11. 12. 12. 13. 13. 14. 14. 15. 15. 16. 16. 17. 17. 18. 18. 19. 19. And finally we have 20. 20. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. These numbers may seem harder to remember. But a lot of them are just a single number you learned from the last lesson with 10 added to the end. The rest you will have to memorize. Let's not stop at 20. Counting to 100 is super easy. Now I'll give you the 10s. 30, 30, 40, 40, 50. 50, 60, 60, 70, 70, 80, 80, 
90 90 100 100 Well, you have to memorize a few of these numbers. There are a couple of tricks that will make memorizing them incredibly easy. Notice that all the numbers except 100 end in T. And the number in front is simply 3 to 9 or a slight variation of it. For example, 30. 30. It is composed of 3 and T. 30. 70. 70. It is composed of S, which is a variation of C and T. 70. As for 100, it sounds a lot like the English 100 and shouldn't be that hard to remember. The last thing to learn in this lesson is how to form compound numbers above 20. This is also super easy. Take the tens and simply add the numbers you learned in the previous lesson. Let's try it out. How would you say 56 in Norwegian? Let's take it step by step. 50 is 50. And then add 6, 6. 56. It's done. Isn't that easy? Let's make another number, for instance, 98. Take 90, 90, and add 8, 8. 98. Now it's time for Nora's insights. To count higher than 100 should be no problem at all. Just take the hundred, hundre, and add an o, and then the rest. For example, one hundred and thirty-five. Hundre og trettifem. Hundre og trettifem. After only two lessons, you are now able to count over one hundred in Norwegian. In the next lesson, we are going to put your number knowledge to use. Do you have all the skills you need to go shopping in Norway? If not, I'll be waiting for you in our next Norsk på tre minutter lesson. Ses neste gang! Hei! Jeg heter Nora. Hi everybody, I'm Nora. Welcome to NorwegianClass101.com's Norsk på tre minutter. The fastest, easiest, most fun way to learn Norwegian. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase Unnskyld, kan du snakke engelsk? Excuse me, do you speak English? We mentioned the word Unnskyld, which means excuse me in Norwegian. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use unnskyld and other words when apologizing in Norwegian. We should use unnskyld in formal situations, such as when we are ordering something in bars or restaurants. For example, unnskyld and kaffe takk. Excuse me, a coffee please. We can also use it when asking a question. Unnskyld, hvor er fangene parken? Excuse me. Where is the Vigeland Park? Sometimes we also hear people say Beklager, which means the same thing when you want to apologize for a mistake. Beklager. Another common way to say excuse me is Inchil. Inchil. Just like Beklager, we can use Inchil when apologizing for a mistake. You can also hear some Norwegians say Sorry which is a long word from English. It's often used as a quick apology amongst friends. All of these phrases can be used for either excuse me or I'm sorry. But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use a longer phrase. That phrase is Unnskyld, jeg er virkelig lei for det. It means excuse me, I am really sorry. And can be used in both formal and informal situations. Unnskyld, jeg er 
virkelig lei for det. First, we have the familiar innskyld. Next, we insert the pronoun for I, jeg. Then, er, which means am. This is followed by virkelig, which means really. Finally, we have the phrase lei for det, meaning sorry about it. Unnskyld, jeg er virkelig lei for det. Now it's time for Nora's insights. In Norway, if you accidentally bump into someone, you might not get any response. But to be polite, we either say unnskyld or beklager. It is also common to use the exclamation å oh, before apologizing. Å, oh, beklager. Are you able to count in Norwegian? In the next lesson, we will learn the numbers in Norwegian from 1 to 10. I'll be waiting for you in our next Norsk på 3 minutter lesson. Ses neste gang! Hi everybody, Annette here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Norwegian questions. The question for this lesson is, what does ufta mean? The interjection uf or huf in Norwegian is used to mean something that is irritating, uncomfortable, sad or unpleasant. You often hear ufta as a response to something lamentable. The best translation might be, I'm sorry to hear that. Let's do some examples so you can learn how to use ufta correctly. If your friend's pet has died or become sick recently, you can say to them, ufta or uff, det var trist å høre. Literally meaning, oh, that was sad to hear. If you're in an irritable mood and someone is nagging you, you can answer with huff no ma så du falt. Literally meaning, now you're nagging terribly. You can also use this phrase to express surprise. Imagine that someone has scared you, then you can answer with uff, du skremte meg, meaning, oh, you scared me. In this case, you usually don't include da. That's it. I hope I answer your question. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Ha det, vi ses snart. Bye, see you soon. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Norwegian. Hi everybody, my name is Annette. Welcome to the 800 core Norwegian words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Norwegian. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at NorwegianClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Norwegian. Okay, let's get started. First is... Hallo? Hello? Hallo? Hallo? Hello. Hello, jeg heter Espen. Hello, my name is Espen. Hello, jeg heter Espen. Unnskyld meg. Excuse me. Unnskyld meg. Unnskyld meg. Excuse me. Unnskyld meg for at jeg er sen. Excuse me for being late. Unnskyld meg for at jeg er sen. Jeg beklager. 
I'm sorry. Jeg beklager. Jeg beklager. I'm sorry. Jeg beklager. Han er ikke her akkurat nå. I'm sorry. He's not here right now. Jeg beklager. Han er ikke her akkurat nå. God natt. Good night. God natt. God natt. Good night. God natt og tusen takk. Good night and thank you very much. God natt og tusen takk. Hyggelig å møte deg. Nice to meet you. Hyggelig å møte deg. Hyggelig å møte deg. Nice to meet you. Mitt navn er Peter. Hyggelig å møte deg. My name is Peter. Nice to meet you. Mitt navn er Peter. Hyggelig å møte deg. Hvordan går det? How are you? Hvordan går det? Hvordan går det? How are you? God morgen. Hvordan går det? Good morning. How are you? God morgen. Hvordan går det? Ja. Yes. Ja. Ja. Yes. Ja, hva trenger du hjelp til? Yes, what do you need help with? Ja, hva trenger du hjelp til? Nei. No. Nei. Nei. No. Det er ikke mulig, nei. It is not possible, no. Det er ikke mulig, nei. Takk. Thank you. Takk. Takk. Thank you. Takk for hjelpen. Thank you for your help. Takk for hjelpen. Jeg er. I'm. Jeg er. Jeg er. I'm. Jeg er Jon. I'm John. Jeg er Jon. Ha det bra. Goodbye. Ha det bra. Ha det bra. Goodbye. Ha det bra, ses igjen. Goodbye, see you again. Ha det bra, ses igjen. Dårlig. Bad. Dårlig. Dårlig. 
bad. Dålig dag. Bad day. Dålig dag. God. Good. God. God. Good. Grønnsaker er godt for deg. Vegetables are good for you. Grønnsaker er godt for deg. Pen. Pretty. Pen. Pen. Pretty. Du er veldig pen. You are very pretty. Du er veldig pen. Stygg. Ugly. Stygg. Stygg. Ugly. Det er en veldig stygg hund. That is a very ugly dog. Det er en veldig stygg hund. Lett. Easy. Lett. Lett. Easy. Det er lett å forstå. It is easy to understand. Det er lett å forstå. Vanskelig. Difficult. Vanskelig. Vanskelig. Difficult. Engelsk er vanskelig. English is difficult. Engelsk er vanskelig. Nær. Near. Nær. Nær. Near. Jeg bor nær universitetet. I live near the university. Jeg bor nær universitetet. Langt. Far. Langt. Langt. Far. Stasjonen er langt herfra. The station is far from here. Stasjonen er langt herfra. Liten. Small. Liten. Liten. Small. Bilen er liten, men veldig kraftig. The car is small, but it's very powerful. Bilen er liten, men veldig kraftig. Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Norwegian. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry. We can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full lists. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at NorwegianClass101.com. See you next time. Farvel!
Welcome to NorwegianClass101.com's Norsk på tre minutter. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Norwegian. Hej, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte dere. Hej, I'm Nora. Nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic Norwegian expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Norwegian. You only need to know two sentences. Let's see how Norwegian people introduce themselves. Hi, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. Hi, I'm Nora. Nice to meet you. Hi, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. Start by saying hi. Jeg heter. Then say your name. Hei, jeg heter Nora. Finally, say hyggelig å møte deg. Hei, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. And now let's see the same sentence in a different format. Hallo, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig. Hallo. My name is Nora. Nice to meet you. Hallo, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig. So, what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at these together. Hei has been substituted with an alternative greeting, Hallo, Norwegian for hello. In a formal setting, you would say your full name, but it's better to just use your first name when being introduced to new friends. Hyggelig å møte deg has been shortened to just hyggelig. When meeting someone in a formal context, for instance at work, hyggelig å møte deg will be the most appropriate greeting. When being introduced to new friends, hyggelig will do. One more time. One way to introduce yourself in Norwegian is Hei, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. An alternative way to introduce yourself is Hallo, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig. Now it's time for Nora's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands in Norway. While hyggelig å møte deg is slightly more formal than just hyggelig, you don't need to worry too much about which one you use. If you use one of these sentences with Norwegian people, they're definitely going to be impressed. Do you know how we say thank you in Norwegian? You'll learn how to say this and many other words in the next Norsk på tre minutter lesson. Takk og ses neste gang. See you then. Jeg heter Nora. Hi everybody, I'm Nora. Welcome to NorwegianClass101.com's Norsk på tre minutter. The fastest, easiest, most fun way to learn Norwegian. In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greetings in Norwegian. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Norwegian, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're saying, even if their answer is no. Here's the most common way to say it. Snakker du engelsk? Snakker du engelsk? Norwegian is a pretty straightforward language. We conjugate verbs based on time, which means we have Past, present, and infinitive. The question, snakker du engelsk, translates as, are you speaking English? The verb snakker, to speak, is in the present tense. The second word in the sentence, du, 
simply means you. And you probably recognize engelsk to be English. Snakker du engelsk? To learn how to properly conjugate verbs like snakker, please check out our absolute beginner series on NorwegianClass101.com. You can find very detailed grammar lessons and resources there. Like English, there are many ways to ask this question. Let's look at another one, also pretty similar to English. Kan du snakke engelsk? It's literally the equivalent of can you speak English? Kan du snakke engelsk? Adding unnskyld, excuse me, to the sentence would make it unnskyld, kan du snakke engelsk? Unnskyld, kan du snakke engelsk? The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Ja, yes. Ja, litt, a little, litt. Nei, jeg kan ikke snakke engelsk. No, I can't speak English. Nei, jeg kan ikke snakke engelsk. Since this last one is a negative statement, we need to say ikke before the verb snakke. Notice also that the verb snakke is slightly different than Snakker. Remember, the verb changes depending on the time it is in. We are now talking about the infinitive, since it is coupled with kan, which means can. Now it's time for Nora's insights. For those of you who don't just speak English, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. Norwegian people study other European languages at school, so maybe you will get lucky. Just substitute engelsk with italiensk for Italian, fransk for French, spansk for Spanish, tysk for German. In this lesson, we mentioned the expression unnskyld, but did you know that this could also be used as an apology? In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Norwegian. I'll see you in our next Norsk på tre minutter lesson. På gjensyn! Hi! Jeg heter Nora. Hi everybody, I'm Nora. Welcome to NorwegianClass101.com's Norsk på tre minutter. Fastest easiest and most fun way to learn Norwegian. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Norwegian. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Er dere klare? Are you ready? La oss begynne. So let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It is just one word. Takk. Tack. Tack means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add tusen at the beginning. Tusen tack. Tusen tack. Tusen means thousand. So tusen tack is like saying a thousand thanks. During the last lesson, we didn't really mention anything about formality in speech in Norwegian. However, there are some subtle differences in how you will be perceived by others. Tak is a casual way to thank someone. Tusen tak expresses more gratitude and is thus more formal. A longer and more formal phrase which expresses a lot of gratitude would be Tusen tak, så hyggelig av deg. Here we have just added så hyggelig av deg, which means how nice of you. Tusen takk, så hyggelig av deg. But how do you answer these expressions of gratitude? It's easy. There are basically two different ways to do it. The first is velbekomme. Velbekomme. Velbekomme literally means you are welcome. The other way to say you are welcome is the expression 
Bare hyggelig. Bare hyggelig. Literally, this phrase means it's my pleasure or with pleasure. But it is the most common and polite way to respond to someone thanking you. So when someone is saying tack to you, you can simply reply with velbekomme or bare hyggelig. Now it's time for Nora's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use tack or tusen tack, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Tack can be used with just about anyone, anywhere, and at any time. Do you know what CS means? In our next lesson, you'll learn this and other greetings in Norwegian. Tack og CS neste gang. Jeg heter Nora. Hi everybody, I'm Nora. Welcome to NorwegianClass101.com's Norsk på tre minutter. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Norwegian. In the last lesson, we learned how to be grateful to people by saying takk. In this lesson, we learned some of the most common greetings used in Norway. Er dere klare? Are you ready? La oss begynne! So let's start. The most used informal greeting is hi. Hi. Hi means hi. We use it when we meet people. We can use this greeting with anyone. But it isn't the only way to greet someone. We also have hello. Hello. Which means hello. And more time specific greetings like good dog. God dag. Literally, god dag means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use god dag only during the daytime, from morning until evening. During the evening, we say god kveld, god kveld. Kveld is Norwegian for evening, so god kveld means good evening. Finally, in the mornings we say Good morn, Good morn, which means Good morning. Good dag, Good kveld, and Good morn are used when we meet someone, but when we leave, we don't say them again. When parting ways for a long time, we usually say Ha det bra, Ha det bra. Ha det bra means be well but translates best as goodbye. Finally, in Norwegian, we have an expression meaning see you soon. Ses. Ses. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Norwegian. Let's review them all again. When meeting friends or someone we don't know, hi or hello. When leaving, we say ha det bra. When leaving but want to imply see you soon, we say CS. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Nora's insights. In formal situations, Norwegian people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. However, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, it's common to give hugs. Don't be afraid to try it out with your Norwegian friends. During the next lesson, we learn the meaning of the phrase Snakker du engelsk? Do you already know it? I'll be waiting to talk with you about it in our next Norsk på tre minutter lesson. På gjensyn! Jeg heter Nora. Hi everybody, I'm Nora. Welcome to NorwegianClass101.com's Norsk på tre minutter. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Norwegian. In the last lesson, 
we learn some words used when apologizing in Norwegian, including inchil and beklager. In this lesson, we are going to learn numbers in Norwegian. Yes, numbers. Tal, from one to ten. And you are going to learn them in only three minutes. Tre minutter. Are you ready? Let's start. En. En. Two. Two. Tre. Tre. Fire. Fire. Fem. Fem. Seks. Seks. Syv. Syv. Åtte. Åtte. Ni. Ni. Ti. Ti. Ok, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. En. To. Tre. Fire. Fem. Seks. Syv. Åtte. Ni. Ti. Great job! What is before en? Do you know? It's null. Null. You don't have any more excuses. You can give your friends your cell number in Norwegian. Let's try together. We'll use the phrase numere mitt er, which means my number is. Numere mitt er. Numere mitt er. Ni. To. En. Tre. Fem. Åtte. Syv. Fire. Can you read it by yourself? Ni. To. En. Tre. Fem. Åtte. Syv. Fire. Perfect. Now it's time for Nora's insights. If you're just starting out, it's okay to say your cell phone number like this. But most Norwegians will actually use double digit pairs. So not 9, 2, 1, 3. It's 92, 13, and so on. Once you learn how to say compound numbers, come back to this lesson and try to say the phone number in the natural way. Do you know the Norwegian word for a hundred? Here's a hint. It's very similar to the English word. In the next lesson, we are going to learn the numbers from 11 to 100 in Norwegian. Your task now is to practice the numbers we studied in this lesson from en to t. See us next time. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.